I'm Phil. Hello, my name is Phil and uh, today we're going to be looking at a very very special instrument, a wonderful instrument. As you might see from my t-shirt you might know what it is. Uh, it's an instrument which has a piano, organ and uh, a sample section. Okay, And of course it's the Nord. It's the Nord. Uh, it's not the Nord stage. Nord stage is really 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 expensive. What I'm looking at today is much more economical. It's the Nord Electro. Electro, Nord Electro 6D with 73 keys. It's a wonderful instrument and um, I'm going to show you some of the things about that. And also I'd like to say a big thank you to Gleska or Gleska or Gleska music.com. I'm not being sponsored. These are mine. Nobody's paying me. Nobody's sponsoring me. I did get the Nord Electro from uh, Gleska Music. They're in Cardiff, not Cardiff in, in Great Britain, but Cardiff in Spain, in the south of Spain. A big special thanks to Sara and the, the others there. If you're in Spain and you want to buy a Nord, consider going to lessermusic.com. Lessermusic.com. Okay. Without further ado, let's go and look at the Nord Electro 60. There are different sections on the Nord. You can see the master level. This is the uh, master volume level. Then here, from this, all this section here is the organ section. And if you want to turn the organ section on, you have to push this button here. I don't know if you can see it. Okay? And that turns on the organ. I'm not going to look at that today. Then you have the piano section. This very small section here is the piano section. Again, if you want to turn it on, you have to push that button here. Then you have the screen and you have some program sections. I'm not going to look at that. Then you have the synth section, which again is this small section here. Attack, sustain, and the sample. Here the octave up, octave down buttons. And then this section here is the effects section. This is the Nord Electro, the 6D drawbars. We have the organ drawbars here. And this has the what is called the waterfall. All right, this is the waterfall. This makes it easier to play. Beautiful, beautiful instrument. It's a really beautiful um, feel and everything. The difference between the Nord Electro and the Nord Stage, there are a few differences, but one of the main differences is that on the Nord Electro you have a sample section, but on the Nord Stage it has a synthesizer, built-in synthesizer, I think it's the lead A1, and it's a really big section. So if you look at the difference between the Nord Electro and the Nord Stage, you can see there's a lot more buttons. This is the more economic version. The Nord Stage is a lot more expensive. This is the master level. To get the sound, you need this on. But you also need to turn on each section. You have to turn on this button. The two lights come up. This is the upper and the lower zone to show that the whole keyboard is working. These buttons here, these gray buttons, on the three sections, on the organ section, on the piano section, and on the sample section, are octave up and octave down buttons. If you just press them, they play what is written above so for example, if you push this button, it's the octave up button, okay? So it's above it, it's the octave up. So you push the octave down to the maximum, all right? This is the maximum. So if the stain pedal is off, you need to push shift and one of these buttons until the stain pedal comes in red, okay? Normally it's on. Here, you have the equalizer, which is bright, middle, and soft, and you have the dynamics. What we are going to do is we're going to have the soft release and the string resonance. When you play a real piano with real strings, they resonate. Looking at forums and things, it's better to have the soft release of the note and the string resonance. Push the shift, uh, string resonance, and soft release together. But what I did, I took off every single sound on the piano section and I put in some other sounds, okay? So what you need to do if you want to take everything off, you need to download the Nord program. Then you can take off and put in other sounds. The wonderful thing about this is that you can put in the, the piano library and the sample library. The organ library, no. The organ library is set. But you can change the pianos and you can change the samples. And that's what I did. And I have got the new piano, which is called the White Grand. And I have got it in the X. L version. And the XL version is the version that every single note is sampled. 
If you push the shift and you go to piano information, STWB, this stands for Steinway B. Now Steinway B is not the biggest Steinway, the biggest Steinway is a Steinway D, but we have a few Steinway Ds as well. We also have a Bossendorfer and we have uh, different pianos, okay? The grand, the white grand. Let's go to the next piano I have here. It's all different, which is the bright grand. Now the bright grand is from a Yamaha S4. Okay. Next piano I have is the Grand Imperial. The Grand Imperial, if you push here, is from the Bossendorfer. It's from the Bossendorfer Imperial. The Bossendorfer is from Austria. It's one of the biggest grand pianos you can buy. It's also very expensive. And um, if you know anything about the Bossendorfer, you will know it has the 88 notes, but it has extra notes to the left. Okay, deeper notes, uh, which was to play a certain type of music. Okay, and I think the Bossendorfer, I'm not sure, uh, it's about 200,000, 250,000 years, I'm not sure, but it's a very expensive piano. Okay, and here's a sample of the Bossendorfer. Let's go to another piano which I have here, which is the Grand Lady D. Now the Grand Lady D is based on the Steinway D. The Steinway D, if I am not mistaken, is the biggest Steinway, the largest Steinway uh, you can get, okay? Concert Grand, this is also a Steinway D. Now, you have Concert Grand 1 and Concert Grand 2. I think, if I'm not mistaken, the Concert Grand 1 was close and the Concert Grand 2 was with the ambient. But this is the, the Concert Grand. <laughs> Sometimes my timing is not perfect, but it's not. I'm not really here to do the timing because if I was doing with the timing and playing, maybe on another video, I would use uh, a rhythm machine, either outwardly or in my earphones, just to keep everything perfect. That's my excuse. Let's go to the next piano I have down here, which is the Velvet Grand. All of these, apart from the first one, are in large. And large means that not every single note is sampled, and the XL, and the extra large, every single note is sampled. The only one I have on XL is the first one, which is the white grand, which is the Steinway B. The Fazioli, it's the Italian grand, and it's called the Fazioli. Now, a lot of people like this one.
people on the forums seem to like this piano. That reminds me, the Velvet, I think it's based on the Bechstein. Bechstein or another piano, which I can't remember at the moment. Bechstein or was another piano, which I can't remember. How. Then we have the Royal Grand, which was the first piano in here. This is based on the Yamaha S6, okay? is the Silver Grand. Now the Silver Grand is based on the Kaiwei Shigeru SK7. Kaiwei Shigeru Kawai, Kaiwei Kawai, Kawai Shigeru SK7. Again, a lot of people like this one. The Kawai or Kaiwei or Kawai, however you pronounce it, um, they are very good piano makers as well. Right, I'm not sure about how we describe it. Let's take it down. If you go, again, if you go down to the piano library on the Nord website, you can download more pianos and they include uh, uprights, grands and uprights, and then you have a different list. I'll maybe bring the list in a minute. Now, but after that, you have the, the electric grands. Now this is based on the CP70, CP80, those electric grand pianos, which uh, were in the 1980s, okay? And uh, lots of uh, churches, clubs, or places had them. Oh, you just turn this down, oh, yeah. Again, you can use the, the tremolo with this. Friends only going to be playing the piano. Okay, the, 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 then we have the EP4 Mark V. Uh, the Mark V was the Mark V 1984 stage piano based on the Rhodes, the uh, Rhodes. trick with the with the with the control pedal and you can you can I haven't got that here but another video I can show you maybe on that one. Then you have the IA the again the Mark II. No, 1975 suitcase Mark One. This was it, the Mark Mark One suitcase which I have down here. Um, You have the French harpsichord, which I like with a reverb on. I love that sound as well. And then we have the DX7. To, if you really wanted to, you could put in the the first string sound, which is, comes in with the note, which is the orchestral strings, legato. And um, you, again, the beautiful thing about this is you can control each volume. Let's, and let's put in a bit of, um, I like the whole bit of reverb. Again, you can control the octave level of each sound as well. Control the decay and release of, of each sound of the, of the of the uh, samples. The Nord Electro has.
has one major problem. It's a big problem. It's a big problem. The problem is you start off as my my well, you start off practicing playing. There are so many nice sounds, so many things, and instead of playing for 10 minutes, you end up playing for two hours. Such a beautiful instrument. Also, if you can see, but the, the side panels are made of wood. And if you can see this, the, the side panels are made of uh, beautiful wood here. And uh, it's a beautiful looking instrument. It's absolutely, it's wonderful. It's a really gorgeous instrument. And you say, okay, I'm gonna have a little practice. Maybe you're practicing in my case, I practice the church songs on here, and then you get deeper, you get into the organ, you get into the different sections, you start mixing the sounds, and you say, hold on, I've spent an hour and a half, and a half two hours. <laughs> now, another trick I like to do, uh, well, it's not a trick, it's obviously it's not a trick, but it's, um, especially on the Grand Imperial, I like to put in a little bit of um, uh, reverb. So, let's put the reverb on, now, you have the, the, the lowest reverb level is the room, the next one you have is the stage, and the, the, the strongest one is the hall. And in other words, you have to be really careful. If you're using the hall, you have to be really careful because it's, it's, it's quite strong. But I like to put it just above, just above the level. Let's turn the reverb off and you see. Take that up again. Because you see a little bit of a little bit of ambience. So if you take it off, you turn it on. Again, be very careful with it. Don't only, only need a little, little bit, just a little bit. And then of course you have the effects as well. Um, so uh, I like, for example, just to put a bit of uh, the first orchestral strings. Turn a little bit down. Just improvising. Um, this is the thing I said. I was going to make a very short video for a friend of mine just to show him the piano sections, and in the end, up you end up uh, going through different things. I just want to show you one more sample, which I, a few, just a few little different bits and pieces, which I like here. Uh, if you go to number one, two, six on the synth section from the factory presets, you end up with a. be a nylon guitar and uh, I have a little re reverb on it. Now I have a friend who's a guitar player and he says it doesn't really sound like a guitar but I, I think so anyway. 